Hey everybody, it's Chris from Prepared Mind 101. Me, Will, and some of his brood are up here in Marion, Ohio at our northern spot. Just uh, doing some camping this weekend, playing with stuff, testing things out. And I'm going to be doing an update video on the Walmart Equip Hammock. Now, I still have the original Equip Hammock that I did a video on like, I don't know, two years ago. And these are really, really good budget grade hammocks. They're a little bit heavier material than like the thin parachute nylon that you typically see in like a Trek light or an Eno, but I actually think it lies more comfortable, uh, to be honest. Used to be you could only get these things in bright blue colors, but now I've seen one or two different colors. Uh, that's what this one is. So for a budget hammock that is very comfortable, under 30 bucks, it's a pretty good deal. So I wanted to shoot this intro before I went ahead and set up the hammock check this thing out and then I'll show you what you got to do what I typically do to any hammock regardless of who makes it uh, to upgrade it to make sure that it's nice and strong for you so if you want to see uh, this budget hammock will work for you don't go away As I was saying, we're out here this weekend camping. We're not surviving. Uh, I try to do something different every time I come out. What I'm trying to do this time is I'm just testing my uh, vehicle kit. It's pretty comprehensive. Uh, just seeing if I had to run out and I didn't bring anything at all. Anything. No clothes, no nothing. Is everything in there? Uh, can I pretty much accomplish anything with what's in there? And I don't see any holes in it. But I did add this hammock to it. As we can see here, it is no longer the ugly blue. It's kind of a uh, gray and a dark red, so much nicer color, something you would more expect to uh, see from Eno. And the orange straps, that's my uh, hammock suspension system for the vehicle. So I don't have to worry about them being ultra light for backpacking or anything like that. Uh, it's the exact same straps that I had in the old video about this hammock. Well, same, same model. It's not the exact same straps. But they're the Harbor Freight 12-foot uh, tie-down straps. Uh, I've got a spring-loaded lock. I mean, it's like the easiest thing in the freaking world to set up a hammock with and quickly, very quickly adjust it. Rated up to about 1,200 pounds, so pretty good so let's get a closer look at this hammock like I said before best thing about this you wouldn't normally think this I mean it's kind of it's a little counterintuitive but every hammock's different every hammock lays different and these Walmart uh, equip hammocks being a heavier gauge nylon material instead of a uh, silni or a parachute nylon ultralight stuff I think it just lays better I mean, I set it up, I lay in it, boom, it's perfect. That's what I just tested this out. So let's get a closer look at it, and uh, I'll jump in it and just kind of demonstrate how it lays. Okay, first thing to note, and this is usually anybody that hammocks for a while, that's one of the things just about everybody does, is you take out the piece of crap ropes that it comes with and replace it with something better. In this case, uh, I think it's Arrowhead Equipment. I don't know the people. I've just bought from them for a couple years. I'll put a link in the description box, but you can buy bulk Amsteel, uh, I think in like 20 or 25 foot sections. So I'll just get one piece of Amsteel and I can make two hammock tie outs and have plenty left over for something else. Uh, Amsteel is rated up to 1,200 pounds. Uh, it's nice and thin. I think it's one, I don't know, I, I want to say one eighth diameter. It could be smaller. So I replaced that. I'm currently still using the binders that it came with. Obviously they're going to be hanging rated if they're in a hammock, but I'll probably swap them out with some better ones. Let's see if we can kind of notice this on video or not. See how it's kind of like the thicker, shiny nylon material? 
So it does make it feel like it's got a little bit more bulk. But I'm telling you, it, it feels great when you're laying in it. Uh, other than that, you know, the other things I got going on here, these are the tie-out straps that I was talking about. I'll just give you a close look. So if you're lucky enough to have a Harbor Freight nearby, you'll, you'll know what they are. Uh, and I just turned this uh, hook in on itself. So I have this part right here to hook into. And these are, see most of these tie-down straps you see in the stores, they've got these big, huge, bulky buckles. These are just right, easy to cinch them up, adjust your height, piece of cake. And then I haven't put my bug net up yet because I'm shooting this video, but I just, all I did was take a piece of bank line from my car kit, figure nine, and just uh, did a quick ridge line. So let me jump in here, show you how it looks when you're laying in it. I don't like being too high off the ground personally, but... <sighs> I didn't really have to adjust this or anything, but right there, it's already perfect. Super comfortable. Each hammock that I have kind of lays a little bit different, and you kind of have to have your own little different techniques for laying in it. But these ones are super tough. How tough are they? Well, if you remember what the old backyard looked like, where I used to live, I had those two trees where I hung the hammock. And we would have the old equip hammock like this. And you know, me and the kids, and I've had me, the kids, and the wife in here at once. I'd get me and the kids and we'd be, we would swing this freaking hammock up to here. Bouncing on it, shaking on it. I mean this hammock is tough. So the weak spot's gonna be the suspension lines that it comes with. So you're gonna wanna I found that out the hard way. Swinging in the hammock, snap, we're on the ground. After that, all those went bye-bye. Replaced the lines with AM steel. So, no problems there. There's really not that much else to it. I mean, it's a single hammock. Uh, it's not a double. I did have a double. I'm not going to do it. <laughs> we, we've, beat on, we've beat on him over like three different videos. But I never did get to test the double <laughs> equip hammock because I... It, just met a bad fate. So I went out and bought one of these and this time I just got the single and you know what, every other hammock I got is double. Sometimes a single's just a little less hassle. What's nice about the doubles is sometimes if it's if there's a lot of bugs out and you don't have a bug net, uh, there's enough material that you can pretty much cocoon yourself up in it. So even though it's not, it, it's not related to this hammock, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to set up my bug net because I've never shown this bug net on camera. Uh, this was my best friend's bug net. Uh, I don't know, he got bored with it or whatever, gave it to me. And it's, it's actually uh, better than the Eno net that I used to use, and that's the Trek-like net. So we've got a couple hammocks up here right now with different types, different bug nets. And then maybe at the end of that, we'll go ahead and uh, compare them all. Okay, on to the second product. I have not personally used this one before. I've only been camping with my friend while he's used it. Uh, and this is the Trek Light Bug Net. Now maybe it's because it doesn't ha it has a different kind of bag, but it's a little bit of a bulkier bag than my uh, Eno Bug Net. But this is a completely different company, completely different hammock, uh, completely different entry points and all that stuff. So I'm gonna set this up and then we're gonna take a look at this one. Yeah. There's people out here cutting down freaking trees. Yay for sound effects. Um, so I got this set up. As you can see, it looks a lot different than what you normally see us use. Uh, one thing about the Trek lights is the mesh is white. And I, I don't remember the reason, but I'm probably going to annotate the screen, I'm guessing. But I remember reading something on the Trek light site that there was a specific reason why it was white. Uh, the other thing is it's got two points up at the top, and then you just take a piece of string, tie it like you're tying your shoelaces up on your ridge line, keeps it up there. And unlike the other ones, like uh, the one Will's got over here, I'll show you here in a sec, that's got the vertical zipper, these have horizontal zippers for getting in and out of them. So.
that easy. It does seem like it's a little bit easier to get in and out of it, having the horizontal entry points instead of the vertical ones. So the best thing about this Trek Lite bug net is it's big. There's plenty of space in it. Uh, it's not like, you know, the newer Enos that I tried where it's like you're, I mean, we tried it and the hammock was like coming out the ends of the bug net. That don't work. So if I'm not mistaken though, I did get this second hand. It's, it's not like a budget bug net by any means. But if you camp a lot in an area where bugs are an issue, you're probably going to pay for a good bug net. So there's that. So basically we have an inexpensive hammock mated with a more expensive bug net and an inexpensive suspension solution. Okay, next morning a little feedback on the hammock and the bug net. First of all in the hammock. I ended up switching hammocks in the middle of the night because I normally use double hammocks. That's what I feel comfortable in. Uh, that hammock for me is good for laying around and chilling and whatever but when it comes to sleeping it's just not enough material for me for sleeping because I tend to toss and turn and lay on my side and stuff like that when you if you're not someone that can comfortably uh, sleep on your back you're better off in a double so I ended up switching out to my Trek light uh, uh, double it's a little bit more comfortable on the bug net, the only feed, the, the bug net works great. The only feedback I have on the bug net is the zippers being the black and, and with very small uh, toggles or pulls or whatever. Kind of hard to find in the middle of the night when you got to get up, get out, go to the bathroom or whatever. Simple fix. What I'm going to do to that is just tie a couple pieces of orange paracord to them. So they're easier to spot, easier to find. Uh, next thing is, being that it's so hot, didn't really pack like a sleeping bag or anything like that. Didn't expect it to actually get cool enough. But it did drop down to about 63. So it started getting kind of chilly. Like, well, hell, I didn't bring a sleeping bag. So I did... <clears throat> Excuse me, I had to improvise a little bit. So I go to my mobile freaking everything center, <laughs> the back of my car. It's like, what do I got? I don't know if anyone's ever thought of this or anyone's ever tried it, but it actually worked really, really well. Is what I ended up doing uh, to stay warm without not being without uh, being uncomfortable is I had my Frog Togs rain suit and these breathe really really well so I put that on and I was I was fine I was like wow this works pretty good for kind of an expedient light sleeping solution as it got further in the night around 3 o'clock it got even colder it got chilly again it's like well now what well I also had I also keep one or two grabber heat sheet blankets uh, or all weather tarps or all weather blankets, whatever the hell they're called. So I took that and because when you're laying in those doubles, they kind of encapsulate you. And then I just draped that that uh, all weather blanket over top of it. So now it's completely encapsulated me. It's hanging down so it's stopping the convective breeze from going underneath me and reflecting some of that body heat back. And then I was perfect. Wasn't too hot, wasn't too cold, and it slept like a baby from there on out. So even though I didn't have you know, sleeping bags and stuff like that, I was able to look at the things that I did have, uh, analyze it, and like, okay, let's try this and solve the problem. So I ended up working. Just kind of like a little side note. But as far as the hammock goes, if you're inexperienced with hammocks, if you've never slept in a hammock before and you want to try it out, my personal suggestion is go with a double. Now, Equip does make a double hammock if you can find it. 
Uh, I have had one, didn't get a chance to test it. I just went back to the one that I used to have. And I've slept in that before, but for some reason I've just kind of changed my preference over time and I feel more comfortable in the doubles. So there's that, just a little extra information, something to think about. So I'm not gonna do the tarp, uh, check the weather, no chance of any kind of rain tonight. So we're gonna skip that so I can just have some good, you know, cool air. So there we go, that is the Walmart Equip Hammock and the Trek Light Bug Net. Now the Equip Hammock, uh, all the Walmarts don't sell all the different hammocks. I mean, there is an Equip Single, there's an Equip Double, and there's an Equip uh, one with the mosquito net built into it. I haven't even seen that one at any of the Walmarts in Columbus. So from what, I've, what I'm hearing online, you know, certain people have access to some hammocks, certain people have access to others. I do still see that they do still sell the blue one. Uh, I don't know if maybe that's old stock, but they also have the ones with the different colors. So I've seen at least one set of colors, maybe two. Uh, so you got a budget hammock paired with a not so budget uh, bug net. Got to look at a couple different things. All right, that's all I got for right now. I'm Chris from Prepare My 101. Be sure to click like, share, and subscribe. I mentioned a couple different things in this video, so be sure to check the links in the description box below for anything that's pertinent. And I'll be back with another video here soon, so see you then.